City of Southfield special meeting conducted as a regular meeting of the Planning Commission for February 6, 2019 uh, at 630 is now called to order. Would you please stand and pledge allegiance to the flag, please? Thank you. <clears throat> may I have approval of the agenda, please? <clears throat> if I may, if we could do the roll call first. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but too fat. May I have a roll call, please? <laughs> yes. Please. Mr. Culpepper. Present. Dr. Denson. Present. Mr. Griffiths. Here. Mr. Huntington. Present. Mr. Martin. Present. Ms. Mee is excused this evening. Mr. Willis. Here. Mr. Chairman, you have a quorum to conduct business this evening. Thank you. May I have approval of the agenda, please? I would move for approval of the agenda for uh, February 6, 2019 meeting. Support. There's a motion by Commissioner Willis, supported by Commissioner Huntington. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> Thank you. Agenda approved. Mr. Crow, Mr. We have an announcement? Not at this time. Good evening. I have one. Good evening to the uh, viewing community and to our, our residents. The Southfield Planning Commission is a seven member of committed, dedicated board members appointed by the mayor with approval by the city council that acts as an advisory capacity to the council to make recommendations on tax amendments to the Southfield zoning ordinance, rezoning results, requests, special land use, site plan review, and the Southfield master plan. Also, the capital improvement plan. All study meetings and the regular meetings are open to the public in accordance with the Open Meeting Act, PA 267 of 1976, are held on Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. Meetings are posted that Friday evening before the next meeting on that Wednesday are available for viewing at the southfieldcity.com and copies of the plan, text, amendments, master plan, and capital improvement plans are available for viewing at the Planning Department's office and current projects can be reviewed using our online interactive tool of Planning Department's homepage. The Planning Department can be contacted at 248-796-4151 with any questions or concerns Monday through Friday. I hope this gives the audience and the viewers a basic idea of some of the things the Planning Department does. Thank you. Yeah, through the chair, uh, our, our main number is uh, 4150. Okay, sorry, correction on that. 248-796-4150. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. With that being said, uh, uh, Mr. Crowe or Spence? Yeah, so we have no public hearings this evening. Uh, however, we do have one site plan. Right. Uh, so before you this evening, PSP 18, <coughs> excuse me, dash 0013. This is a site plan review request of Keith Russo, the collaborative on behalf of the owner, Lawrence Technological University, for phase three of the LTU stadium development plan to include permanent seating with press box, concessions, lockers, restrooms, pedestrian walkway, ticket booth, and property located 21000 West 10 Mile Road in the city of Southfield. Uh, if you recall, at the meeting that we had uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we did bring this to you at your study meeting. Uh, there were a couple of things that were discussed. One of those things mainly being uh, a pathway that was being proposed uh, to get from the area of parking uh, to, the, to the stadium itself. Uh, if you recall, uh, the petitioner was noting that that would be called chip sand. And since that time, uh, they've kind of taken your concerns uh, under their, their wings and uh, have actually made that path now asphalt oh, great. instead great. of the, the chip sand. So it would be a, a, a pathway that would be much more firm, much more traditional than, than what uh, was being proposed. Uh, from the standpoint of, of the plans itself, uh, from a, a proposal standpoint, just for, for you and then for the public uh, who is viewing, uh, this particular location, Lawrence Tech, is on the corner of 10 Mile and Northwestern Highway. This particular image uh, indicates uh, what the current field looks like. There's a small parking lot. 
as well as a pedestrian pathway that leads to the field itself. There are some temporary bleachers that are currently there. Uh, those were installed before the beginning of uh, the football season in 2018. Site ERO, Education Research Office. And from this point on, I'm going to turn this over to uh, the petitioner themselves. Uh, this is their presentation, so I would like to turn it over to them uh, so they can explain uh, the project. It is phase three, uh, but you will note that it's a phase three A and a phase three B. So I'll allow them to, to explain the difference between those two. Good afternoon. Would you give your name and address for the record, please? Uh, Kevin Finn, <laughs> Dean of Students at Lawrence Technological <laughs> University, uh, 21,000 West 10 Mile Road, Southfield, Michigan, 48075. I'm Peter Ricky with the Collaborative, or 206 South Main. Ann Arbor. Thank you. Okay, so we'd like to walk you through our field. Um, our goal was last year we did have those temporary bleachers, and with our field we have a more grand design. It'll be better for our student athletes and also our people that are coming to cheer them on. Uh, there was, you know, temporary bleachers were not ideal. Uh, with anything on our campus as we build, it's we, with sporting stuff, we do it through philanthropy. So as people are able to give us money, that really determines what we're able to do. So we're happy we have some money to start that. So I'll walk you through it. Eventually, this is going to be what it's going to look like at Northwestern and uh, uh, 10 Mile with a stadium that would provide seating for 4,000 fans. Uh, but that's not the f that's the full vision. It's not what we're going to get completed or hope to complete this summer. Uh, but what you see with that is a home site that would seat 3,000, a visitor site of 1,000, and then a building that would be for our coaches, also weight rooms, and um, uh, stuff for like a Hall of Fame and stuff like that for people who come back and see some of the players that have uh, student athletes that have done some great things there. Uh, what we are focusing on right now is phase three. Uh, so we are focusing on the main grandstand for the um, home team, uh, the entry of the fans to the field, and then also entry from the pathway that we're working with the city on, that's gonna be the pedestrian pathway along Northwestern as well. So two different points of entry into the field where traditionally we had one. So that looks at uh, seating for 3,000. It also is looking at a press box though that is two-story and then uh, places for ticket booths, concessions, everyone likes to get a Coca-Cola or a hot dog at the games, uh, restrooms, locker rooms, and then um, revised perimeter fencing would be needed as well. So one of the things that comes up each time when we look at having that many people on the field is parking. Uh, and I know some of you had a chance to get out to a game this year, and we appreciate that. Uh, we use our parking lot uh, for our campus because on Saturdays there's not really classes on Saturdays. There's a few, but not many. Uh, and uh, students like to tailgate as well as parents. So we used uh, our existing parking lots. And then uh, people could either walk to the field or we provided transportation. And we provided transportation in two ways. Uh, just regular vans that would pick people up, but we also had a van that was there for people that maybe had to use a wheelchair so that it would be easy for them to get on and off. Obviously, we have a lot of grandparents that come back for these games, and we love having them there, so we want to make it as convenient as possible. And those run throughout the game, an hour and a half before the game starts, and an hour after the game to get people back and forth. Uh, majority of the fans did walk because we didn't have any rainy games this year. Uh, that might change when we have games of rain. Uh, but uh, the people who needed to use the van and stuff, it was available for them. And then this is a current count of our parking, so you could see what is available for cars on our campus and we shall still surplus so that we can meet the demand of one uh, <coughs> big game on campus. I think our best <coughs> test was last year for our first game of the season. We had a little bit over 4,000 and that's, you know, we're not expecting that capacity with the new stadium that we're building yet. So we were able to even meet that that day with our parking. Uh, additional things about the path of the field you see now, we're adding that path that will be a part of the pedestrian walkway that goes along uh, Northwestern there. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, additionally, uh, we do use the uh, help of Southfield uh, Police and our campus safety on it that day. They coordinate to make sure that the traffic flow is fine uh, and to respond if there are any incidents, obviously. So this is what we are working to address this summer and want to get into place before the season starts. Uh, permanent seating uh, for 2150 uh, on the um, home side and then some temporary self seating for 552 so uh, with the amount of money we have able to spend we can build 2100 of that 3000 right now bleacher set and then the other 500 would be temporary bleachers in the south end zone 
uh, it actually works out well for us because when you have high schools, you want to celebrate, uh, you want to separate the home and a visiting team. We do have high schools that use it on Fridays. Not as big of a deal with colleges, but it is a big deal with high schools. Uh, we will be using our existing temporary box, uh, press box right now. Uh, that two-story press box is what we're going to be working towards, but it is, again, about funds. We have a temporary press box that we'll use this year, and then we're working on a ticket booth, concession stand, and spirit store uh, for um, everybody's you know, uh, needs there. Uh, we're working on the foundations, though, for the below bleachers uh, in the building, so the way the bleachers are being built, eventually there will be a locker room underneath there, restrooms, uh, as well as uh, places for like the referees and stuff. Uh, we're going to build the foundations for that, so when the season is done, hopefully we have more funds in place, we can continue that building. Uh, the paved pathway to the stadium will be completed, and as we said, we took your feedback. That's going to be asphalt now, not the chip sand. Uh, we're going to use, uh, we got approval about maybe two weeks ago, to use our temporary trailers for another year. I'm hopeful that that's all it is. Uh, we want a better situation for everybody on campus, so we're working on that fundraising to get that locker room done and then revised perimeter fencing. The next phase 3B would be uh, the, getting the full seating up to 3,000. The temporary bleachers would be removed. We'd have that new story, uh, two-story press box. Uh, the restrooms, the locker rooms would be complete. Permanent concrete walkways to the stadium. Uh, no longer needed trailers. <coughs> revised perimeter fencing again and any ornamental fencing that we need to do too. In fact, we have a really nice ornamental fencing that we I think show in a later image here. Yeah. So this is again just to give you the idea of the bleachers, what you would see kind of underneath them with the locker room spaces, the restrooms, and then the spaces for like officials on game day. Really important in our development because we do see like in certain sports like lacrosse and so on, we'll be able to host national championships, bring teams here from uh, around the country, quite frankly, with the hotel locations there. It's just perfect. So it's kind of a look at what it'll look like this year. So you'll see there's a combination of bleachers and then also seats. Uh, you see where the temporary press box goes there, uh, up there on the platform that we're building. They're elevated seats this year, so you'll get a better view of the game. Uh, football players are big, they're hard to see over. <laughs> so you want elevated seating. Then eventually as we get to the final phase of 3B, you see that's that two-story press box we're building. It provides suites for our president with donors and special people, but it also provides uh, for camera angles, things like that when you host tournaments that are important, uh, different coaches, recruiters, and stuff that comes to these type of um, games. Uh, again, this is uh, we're looking now at the ticketing concessions. You see what that view would be like. And then you see how it looks with the ornamental fencing. Uh, we like to put a nice college look to it. We think it's going to be really nice when we get to that next phase of this. Uh, so there's a conceptual schedule. That uh, ends our presentation. And if I could, through the chair, um, commission will be making recommendation on all of phase three, even right. though it'll be built in phases. Yeah, understand. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioners, uh, questions, concerns? Commissioner Huntington. Okay, through the chair. Uh, so what other activities do you expect to have in the stadium? Sure. This year? So we play football, obviously. Yeah. Our men's and women's soccer team also plays there. And then in the springtime, it's our lacrosse teams. And then there are practices throughout the year of our, of our teams. Uh, we know that Southfield Christian uh, High School last year played their home games there. Mm -hmm. So that was on Friday nights, uh, about four games they had there last year. Uh, Brother Rice has um, wanting to play their home games on Friday night, <coughs> four games. After that, um, our students do play some intramurals out there uh, when our teams aren't practicing. Uh, but um, like you'll see from like November, our last game next year is November 16th. You really won't see use of that field from like November 16th through like March 1 unless we have a very warm winter. Then the teams might go out there earlier to practice. They're all practicing in domes right now because, as we know, it's up and down the weather. Uh, but about March, that's when our lacrosse teams will take that field and start playing. Their season ends in May. Activity you'll see in the summertime is typically practices and sometimes some camps, like our coaches do uh, camps as a community. So like uh, uh, like six through like all the way up to high school, it's a way that players get evaluated for college scholarships or just to continue to learn their craft and have a little bit of fun and burn some calories. Okay. So you don't foresee any concerts or anything like that in no, the summertime? No, no. <laughs> okay. We, 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 do, we do hope to do, because we do have a nice scoreboard, is to have a community event once awesome. this is done, where like a, a sit in the field, watch a movie, but no, not concerts, no. Okay. okay. One more question. Uh, 
Does your plan allow for any expansion at all, if necessary? Let's say this team I don't, does so great. So the full vision we saw, I don't, at our level, I don't see us getting bigger than that. Okay. You know, at the NIA, that is a, a nice size stadium for an NIA school. Uh, if we were, and I, I just don't think it would be in my lifetime, if we were to go to NCAA Division I, and mm -hmm. now we're competing against the Michigan and Michigan State, that's the only reason we would need to expand it. I don't f see us ever <laughs> doing that. but. <laughs> you never say never, right? But no, right, right. no that's, that should take care of us for a long time. Okay, thank you. Yep. Commissioner Martin. I noticed well, during your conversation you mentioned alumni, seniors coming to the game. I don't notice any handrails going up any of the stairways. Do you oh. think that that's something that would be necessary? Yeah, that, for? That, I'm not used to that. Yeah. yeah, it's just a conceptual rendering right now. Um, so in the actual drawings there will be handrails and everything will be up to code and what it needs to be. Okay, okay uh, let me say this as uh, I said in our study meeting, uh, great job. This is a, an added attraction that every year it seems that LTU outdoes itself. And uh, this is a big part of it. Uh, having that field the way it is now is okay, but you're planning for the future. Because the way this field looks now, you're going to get invitations to have state tournaments there, have play teams are going to play to come in to use that field, that facility, because it's great. And having that uh, flow that's on that expressway, people looking over, seeing it, it's uh, great. Uh, Commissioner Willis and I was just talking. It has that uh, stadium environment almost like Wayne State. Yeah. You know, when Wayne State's field sets back and you can see it. So. Uh, Kudos to you and to the, the staff over there. I think it's great. It looks good. And as you know, I've been to quite a few games, and uh, you guys continue to outdo yourself. The tailgating is uh, really picking up. It is. And I fun. guess that may be because you give away a lot of free stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing beats but, free food. <laughs> yeah, you do give a lot of free stuff. But I enjoy it, and uh, I think that's an asset, and it really beautifies <laughs> the area. So I'm with it 100%, and I hope everything goes forward. Thank you. Uh, Com Commissioner Griffiths? Uh, I just I think this this project's progressing nicely. It's realistic phases, and you're you're doing what you say, and you're doing a nice job with everything. So I, I appreciate the way you break it down into phases. Understand the the fundraising aspect of it, and every time you said you're going to do something, you've done it already, and it's 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 getting nicer and nicer as as we go. So I can't wait to see the full vision come come together. Um, also, I. I'm just excited about this continuation of the path along Northwestern Highway and the, the collaboration between the city of Southfield and Lawrence Tech University. I think it's that's going to be great. I'm going to use that personally. It's uh, funny because you know, so. yeah, I see our students already biking again this week, and today was a little bit of a <laughs> stop that. But I'm sure tomorrow when it gets back up to 50 for a day, we'll see bikes being used again, and they're going to like that pathway, obviously. Good job. Good job. Uh, anything else, Commissioner? Uh, thank you. Jeff, do you have a recommendation for us, Mr. Spence? Yes, I do have a recommendation for you. Uh, so with regard to PSP 18-0013, uh, the Planning Commission recommends favorable recommendation for the site plan review request of Keith Russo, the collaborative on behalf of the owner, Lawrence Technological University, for phase three of the LTU athletic field development to include permanent seating with press box, concessions, lockers, restrooms, pedestrian walkway, and ticket booth, with the following conditions. Landscaping shall be installed in accordance with approved landscape plan. Petitioners provide sprinkler system for all landscape areas to encourage preservation of plant material. Petitioners execute a perpetual maintenance agreement for the landscape and parking areas both on site and in the right of way, which includes maintenance of any stormwater detention system. Petitioners implement the recommendations made by the Southfield Police Department's Crime Prevention Bureau regarding site security. Approval of the site plan and or building elevations represented herein does not constitute nor guarantee approval for signage. Separate approval and sign permits must be obtained from the building department for any proposed sign. Exterior lighting will be shielded to prevent spillage of glare onto adjacent property. Bike racks shall be installed in accordance with Article 4, Section 5.29, Paragraph 12. Site shall be designed and developed to contain public works of art in accordance with Section 5.22-5, Public Art, Article 4, General Requirements of the Zoning Ordinance, unless exempted based on written stipulation. Sports field lighting shall only be used during athletic or school-sponsored events. Chain link fencing shall be black vinyl coated. 
and event parking shall be limited to parking lots and no parking shall be allowed on the grass. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner, you've heard the recommendations from the planning department. May I have a motion, please? I would. Commissioner Willis? I would move for favorable approval of PSP 18 0013. Support. The motion by Commissioner Willis, supported by Commissioner Huntington. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> Fine. Yes. Thank you. Good luck, and again, thank you for all your effort and support. Good luck. Okay. And gentlemen, we'll see you Monday night. Monday night. For council study session. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have two sets of minutes to approve. May I have approval? A motion, please, for the minutes. <laughs> Commissioner Martin. Motion to approve the minutes of the December 8th. I'm sorry, December 5th, 2018 study meeting and the December 19th, 2018 regular meeting. Support. With the motion by Commissioner Martin, supported by Commissioner Griffiths, that the December 5th and December 19th study meeting and regular meeting be approved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Uh, next, uh, Jeff, we have the approval of planning commission meeting scheduled for February 2018. 19, yeah, correct. You, you've, you've gotten this schedule uh, a couple of times. Um, this is a schedule that takes into account uh, any holidays um, that, that might come up that might conflict with a Wednesday night. Uh, but this is the calendar that the planning department has put together and would like to keep for uh, the rest of 2019 into January 2020. <coughs> then we have time to look at the schedule. May I have approval, please? Commissioner okay. Huntington. I'd like to approve the uh, Planning Commission meeting schedule for February of 2019 to January 2020. Support. The motion by Commissioner Huntington, supported by Commissioner Willis, that the Planning Commission meeting schedule for January <coughs> 2019 to 2020 be approved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you, approved. Okay, uh, we have in front of us also, Terry talked about before, the, uh, the approval of the Planning Commission and the report that we looked at, the things that we've done and added. So we've had a chance to look at it. Uh, anything we need to change or look at other than to get an approval, yeah? Okay, you had a chance to look at it. May I have approval for the Planning Commission and the report that will be given out to the, to the uh, to the commission, please. Motion for the approval of Planning Commission annual report for 2018. Support. The motion by Commissioner Willis, support of Commissioner Martin, that our annual Planning Commission annual report for 2018 be approved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passed. <coughs> uh, as you know, gentlemen uh, and ladies, uh, at our last meeting, we uh, made an amendment to our bylaws that the off, elected office would hold the office for two years and we uh, revised our uh, bylaws. So at this point in time, uh, as the notice went out, election of offices are up. So uh, I think at this point in time, the chair, vice chair, and uh, secretary office is up for uh, election. So uh, let's take it in that sequence. Yeah, if I may through the chair, I do know that you have one commissioner that is meeting tonight Again, I have no problem if you want to move forward with, with election of officers, uh, unless you want to give uh, Commissioner Mia an opportunity. Okay, that's a point of reference. We have, uh, as Jeff said, uh, <coughs> we do not have a unanimous committee here, so do we want to go forward and do the election of officers tonight, or do we want to postpone until we have a full uh, board with Commissioner Mia and everyone else? Commissioner Willis? I'm going to suggest that we continue forward um, because of some things that I know about. We may not have full meeting, uh, full compliments of, um, of commissioners in the near future, and I would hate to delay it uh, because of that. And so my feeling is that we should uh, make the elections now. I think we're going to be fair, and I think uh, Commissioner Mia is going to be comfortable with what we do, but I think it would be fair to everyone to move on. Okay, any other comment? Yes. Is, is, um has uh, anybody talked to um, Mia? Uh, I usually have conversation with her, but 
I did not talk to her about this because she did not uh, come to the meeting Monday to the council meeting, which I was going to talk to her. I have not talked to her uh, about this, whether she's comfortable or not. But again, uh, as you well know, majority rules. If uh, I don't know how else we could, maybe we could even page her if necessary to text her to see if she's comfortable electing or do we really want to put this off? Because uh, let me say this, and, and you may want to tune in, and you too, Terry. Uh, going forward, uh, we, we may be shorthanded uh, at quite a few of this meeting due to some physical things that may come up on this board. Uh, whoever's sitting in this chair, we may not have a full seven board for some time due to some personal things that may come up. I won't divulge those because that's up to them, that person to do that. But if we put this off now, I'm, I'm under the mindset at our next one, we will not have a full board either. At least one or two people will be missing from the next meeting also no. due to physical. So right. that's something that's good. No, I be ask there. because maybe, um, I don't know if she- Wants an office, yeah. Exactly, so yeah. if, you know. Yeah, that's a good point. Because if you cannot uh, hold an office or be voted for an office if you're not present. So you got a good point there. Terry, uh, 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 I'm going to defer this to you because I think you know my sentiments is going forward uh, there are we there are going to be times that we do not have a full house here and even at our next election if we put this off as Jeff said to our next meeting to vote we still may not have a full board right so well our, our if I could our bylaws say the first meeting of of the calendar year you are the chair you can entertain a motion uh, I think the only issue would be if it ends up being a 3-3 split and then I would ask you to ask one more time before we decide to table it. So mm -hmm. my, my recommendation would be, with all due respect to Ms. Mia, um, she has not indicated to either of us any interest or yourself right. and it's unfortunate that she is ill but um, we, have to, we have to move forward. So I would suggest you take nominations and take a vote and unless it's a 3-3 deadlock then we move forward. Okay. I concur, and uh, I think uh, hopefully I gave a good explanation of why we need to move forward without divulging some private information that I should not divulge. Okay, at this point in time, uh, we will have the nomination open for chair. Uh, can I get a nomination, Commissioner? Um, I would nominate Steve Huntington for uh, chair of the uh, Southfield Planning Commission. Commissioner Huntington has been nominated. Is there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, I declare the nomination for chair closed. Commissioner Huntington, you will be the chair for the next two years. If I may, okay. do you have to have a vote? Still I'm have sorry, the vote I'm now. Sorry. Yeah, we have the vote. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just move this thing forward. Okay, seeing that Commissioner Huntington was the only one nominated, uh, <laughs> we still need to vote. Okay, uh, all in favor of Commissioner Huntington being chair for the next two years? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Mr. Huntington, as I said before, you had a chair for the next two right. years, okay? All right, sorry. All right. Yeah. No, no. Okay, sorry. But uh, next, uh, Vice Chair. Nominations open for Vice Chair. I'd like, I'd like to nominate uh, Commissioner Willis. I, I thank you, but I am going to decline um, the reason. And I might as well just be can. The, the, I have some surgical procedures to go through, okay. and so I anticipate missing uh, meetings for a period of time. And so um, I'm going to decline, but I thank you for the vote of confidence. That's right. Okay. That's what okay. I have to say. Okay. okay. Yeah. The uh, nominee still. Co I'm gonna nominate you. Commissioner Martin. I'd like to nominate Mr. Culpepper. Uh, I regretfully decline at this point in time, but thank you. I've. Uh, held too many offices for too, <laughs> many, <laughs> for too long. I mean, uh, I'd like to uh, recommend co Commissioner Martin as co-chair. I would support that. We'll work with you. We'll work with you. Yeah. I, I, I support two you. things I'm already president of. That's kind of okay, well, do you regretfully yeah. decline? I regretfully decline, yes. The process okay. of elimination. Process of elimination. <laughs> He's going to jump on me. Griff's going to kill me. Nominations are still open for. I 
Well, again, you got two other candidates okay. that uh, can I, either I, accept or decline before you offer. Commissioner, I'd rather not. Commissioner Griffiths has declined, so I would like to nominate. She gonna shoot me, Commissioner <laughs> <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Denson. I would like to nominate Doctor Denson for co-chair. With no, you can't decline. I decline, please. Okay. okay. Well, then it's back to you if you're willing to okay. serve. Okay. Re regretfully, uh, we have declined. Uh, we have Members decline. The reason I decline is, uh, as the older members know, I've been chair and vice chair for the last five, six, seven years, and we need some new blood here. So I will accept the nomination as vice chair under the condition that once Commissioner Mill comes back, if she has a discussion or conversation with you, Terry, or myself, and she would like to, we'd like to revisit this. I don't know how to do this, but. Well, you could always. You could just wait. You could, you could wait on the vice chair position. Excuse me? You could wait on the vice chair position until next month. We could? Yeah, you could, yeah as long I, as we yeah, have a I chair. Just, yeah, I, yeah, because I need to step aside. So oh. if, with, the, with the consent of the commission, I'd like to set aside the election of the vice chair until we have a, but then we're still not going to have a full cup, but he's going to be gone next No, I, I understand, but then you can at least ask, ask if she's interested, and yeah, if she declines, then you could, you could step really, up. Are you comfortable with it? Mm -hmm. You'll support, although you're not here, if Commissioner Mia wants to be vice chair, you're comfortable with it. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with it. So he's the only one that may not be here at our next election. So I would like to propose to the uh, new chair that uh, we postpone the election of the uh, vice chair until we have permission Mia here or a fuller board, if that's feasible. That's fair enough, because Mr. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah, that's and fine. If, is that okay with uh, the rest of the commissioners? Like Commissioner Martin? I'd like to make a correction to that. Okay. That we postpone to the next meeting. And if we, never mind, no, I can cancel that. Re yeah, I retract gonna, his statement, yeah, please. Statement. Whatever he was going to say, take it out. <laughs> I, will. I wanted to do a verbal, uh, cancel it. We'll wait okay. to hear. Yeah. We'll do it. Okay, so where we stand now is the, we have the chair, Mr. Huntington. We have a post of the uh, vice chair until our next meeting. So now we have now we have a nomination for secretary that's open. Uh, you just ask if there's any nominations, yeah, yeah. and well, if there I'm isn't, I'm trying to wait. Well, the proper way is to wait to see if someone says they'll take it. If not, then I got to go around and solicit again. Uh, Commissioner uh, Griffiths, will you act as secretary? for the upcoming two years, please. Uh, okay, yes. Oh, thank you, sir. I uh, understand. Okay, so as of now, Commissioner yes. Griffiths has volunteered to be uh, secretary. May I have a, a vote? All in favor of Commissioner Griffiths being secretary for the next two years? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much. So as of now, going into our next meeting, Commissioner uh, Huntington will chair. We will leave the vice chair open until Commissioner Mill decides, and Commissioner Griffiths will be our uh, secretary. Okay? Good? Yeah. Uh, I know that's not the right way to do it. It's not protocol. It's, it's not Robert's rule of order, but that's the only way I could do it at this time, knowing that I cannot and should not be holding any position for the next four years at least. Okay, if I'm here. Uh, good. Yeah. Can't go uh, yeah, I know. Okay. Strike that last statement. <laughs> well, I, I, I know. But, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that, but I'm trying hard. Um, Mr. Spence, do we have any Mr. Lane or Mr. Crow? Yeah, I guess the only item that, that I would um, mention would be that we have no other items for February. Uh, no site plans, new special land uses, no rezonings. Uh, so really, the rest of this month, uh, we don't really see need for any meetings. So likely we will be canceling the, the balance of, of your Planning Commission meetings for the rest of February. However, we do have this one issue that's kind of hanging out there with regard to the Vice Chair. Um, we'd be happy to hold the regular meeting uh, at the end of February to, to deal with that issue, or we would move it to, to March. And we will coordinate with the new Chair. Okay. Right. So, 
I'll, we'll wait until I think okay. March. Yeah, to so March. I'd March like to defer if, that. If to I, the, if to I could just suggest. Make that decision, not me. Yeah, I think March is fine. If I could just the ceremonial switching of the chair and passing of the gavel. Okay, thank you. I just want to say something too. I want to uh, thank uh, Commissioner Cole Pepper for a fine job and his dedication to the commission. I think he did a very, very good job and we appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. <clears throat> <All right. clears throat> Okay. You know, with that, any staff has no other no other no other comments or miscellaneous, other miscellaneous items. Uh, any other comments, sir? You. Yeah, just one. Yes, I, I have a question about um, um, what's it? Paradise. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Paradise. Did Club. you ever find out anything? Did you um, contact the um, building department to see? The, the main issue that is, is out there has to do with the lighting. And until they get the lighting issues resolved, we will not issue a CFO for that project. So is it any other? Um, there are no other issues other than the lighting. It is it's strictly the lighting issue. And that was a big one. Okay. You know, the, the lack of lighting on the east side of that property was, was something that was noted by a number of people. Right. And it was a condition of the approval that that be resolved. And until that gets resolved, they will not receive a CFO. No, I, just, I was just wondering, is there any other things? Okay. Thank you. Okay. I just, last comment, even though Mr. Spence said we really don't have anything on the docket for February, we do have a busy March, yeah. and we have a couple big projects that have been just recently submitted or we anticipate to be submitted. Um, so we'll obviously talk about those in the upcoming months. And um, there'll be some legislative items and amendments we'll be bringing to you as well. So enjoy your time off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's get ready for a busy year. Okay, anything else? Commissioners? Okay. Meeting's closed. Yes, sir.